Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we are going kind of Funko Pop hunting, but after that we're going to be going home to talk about something really cool going on with the channel. So we're going to be running over to EB Games right now real quick, just to see what's going on over there. I know we were there the other day, but I want to see if I can get the Bane Pez. So we're going to go there, see if they have it, and then we're going to go home and talk about something really exciting about the channel. So, let's get started. Alright guys, we made it over to EB Games, so let's go in and see what's new. Alright guys, so here's what they've got over here. I did find this. It was tucked in the back down here. They had one Kang and Kodo, so I'm going to be picking this up today. Again, guys, I, this is my third one, but we're going to be doing some giveaways with it. Or, if you guys are coming to Niagara Falls Comic Con, this one might be in one of the mystery bags. You never know. Okay. We've got Demon Lisa and Panther Marge up here. We also have Sticky Note Man, which we talked about last time we were here. Now, the new stuff that they got in, I want to show this off. So they got the original Human Torch and Namor Submariner. Now, I don't know if I have this one yet. This is Batman Forever, so I'm not going to be picking that one up today. But they do have the Captain Marvel down here in her new neon suit. That one's cool. I do like that a lot. And then we also have this Boba Fett down here. Kenny, I don't know if you already picked this one up, but there's the Boba Fett right there from the Christmas... What is that? The Christmas special, I think it was. And then there's also the Bulbasaur down here, which is a really cool one as well. I already have it. It's so really neat to see here. Um, but other than that, not too much else that's new from the other day. Um, they do have the 10 inch Loot Llama down here, which is pretty cool, some of the hockey ones. Uh, but I think we're just going to be getting a Captain Marvel and then Kang and Kodos. Alright guys, so we picked up some stuff over at EB Games, so I'll show you what we got, and then we'll talk about the special thing coming up on the channel at home. Alright guys, so we are back from the store now, and let's show you guys everything that we got before we get into the whole you know, giant announcement here because I said on the video the other day, if we get it a thousand likes, I'll announce it. We're at like 1500 on it. We normally get about a thousand. I wasn't even thinking of that when we said it, but thank you guys so much for hitting a thousand likes on this. But let's go through the two things that I picked up real quick. So this one here, I got the Neon Captain Marvel. This is one that I was really excited about getting. This is one that I don't have and I don't have the original one, I don't think. I don't think I ever did get the normal Captain Marvel. So it's good that I got this one because it's different, you know what I mean? I do like this one a lot. This is the same outfit as Verse, actually. So, cool that I got this one, though, because it is different. I might have the Verse, now that I think about it. Um, but I for sure did not grab the original Captain Marvel. I did have the Chase one, I think, but not that one. So, that's cool that we got that. But, the other thing that I got here is this right here. So, grabbed this right here. Another Kang and Kodo set. This is my third I think so what happens is guys I mean they're $30 and they're worth like about a hundred bucks so I want to do a thing where this is either gonna go to our Niagara Falls Comic Con you know mystery bags that we do and it's gonna be a great deal they're usually like I think last year we did $15 mystery bags and you can win a lot of really cool stuff inside of it or um, it'll be a giveaway later on for maybe a milestone or something what are we at right now 167 maybe 175 we can give something away like this I don't know but Anyways, guys, I just want to put that out there because I picked this up. I'm probably not going to be keeping it. It'll be going to one of you guys for a really great deal or for free. So there it is right there. But let's get into our news here. Hold on. Actually, let's move this off to the side here. Noah, put on some dramatic music here so I can kind of build this up for a bit. Okay, guys. So this has been something that I've been planning for, let's say, maybe two, three, three months now maybe and we've been working on this and this has been probably the biggest thing to happen to Top Pops ever. So um, I gave you guys a hint the other day that these were going to be going out of the way. They're going to be leaving but they're going to be going to a new space um, and now people were saying we're moving. We're not moving. This is still going to be my room so I'm still going to be living in this room. It's just that we're going to be getting an office. Um, now this is a huge office. Now my room to put it into perspective, is 100 square feet. This new office is going to be 800 square feet. Now, there are rooms in there as well. It's not like just one big room, so that's nice. Um, it's five rooms, including the washroom. We have almost like a lobby area where we're gonna put like a couch and stuff, and we have a lot of really fun stuff planned for this. Um, I'm really excited about it. I believe with the amount of shelves that we can fit there, here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight shelves. There I should be able to fit like 15 to 20, maybe 25, depending on how I do the setup. It's free real estate. Um, and this is going to be crazy. It's going to be called Top Pops HQ. That's where we're going to be going from now on. I thought that was a really cool title for it. Um, kind of like the Funko HQ because it's mostly pops, but there will be other stuff as well. So I'm going to try and do a couple different backdrops so it doesn't get boring when you guys are watching just, you know, the same set of pops all the time. And because of how long the walls are there, you guys are, we're going to be able to move this way and that way, depending on maybe what we're filming. 
and we'll be able to show the background of different things. So here, guys, we have mostly like, you know, Disney and then some D, um, some DC stuff over here. But maybe one time we'll film in front of the ad icons and then we'll film in front of the Stranger Things ones and then the games ones. Um, so it's going to be really, really fun. I'm super excited about this new area. Um, I don't even know everything that we've got planned for it, but we're going to be doing lots of videos. Like once we kind of get into the groove and uh, kind of like here, we've kind of slowly upgraded. Um, that's what's going to be happening there. We're going to be having a lot more guests on the channel because, um, you know, friends will be coming and stuff like that. It's a lot easier to have more people in there then. Um, because really guys, it looks like I have a lot of room, but I'm going to be honest with you. The tripod is touching the front of the table here and my chair is touching the back of this table and the back wheel is hitting this shelf right here. So we have just enough room to film. And also, if you guys are wondering, can I back it up that way? My bed's there. So it's all gonna be coming out of my room. We're gonna have a team of people moving this over because I have about 1,200 pops here that needs to be moved. Now, I wanna show you guys this as well. I don't know how I'll be able to do it. Let me see if I can do this here. Let me loosen up the tripod here so I can show you this. I'm gonna turn the tripod here and show you guys how small my room is. I, I literally, my arm's not even fully extended. I'm touching a pile of pops here. Look at this. There's Pops right there. I wish I could show the show. Actually, that looks really weird on there. I've never seen it at this angle. I wish I could do like more setups, if that makes sense. Like I wanna have more room for stuff. So at the moment, we can't. But with this new area, we'll be able to have a bunch of new stuff. And I know we'll be showing it empty, guys, and I'll slowly be kind of building up what's going on there. Um, but I'm really excited about it. Also, guys, if you go this way, it's the same thing. There's shelves here, but there is a bit of a pile, like, to my side. This is usually where boxes go um, and stuff like that. So we're going to have, like, a giant closet for, like, one thing that I want to have for sure is, like, my doubles. So it'll be easier for us to, you know, ship out and do giveaways and that. And then another thing is I want to have a room for your packages and stuff that I get sent in, um, like, if I buy it or if you guys send stuff. So that'll be a lot easier. Uh, the P.O. box will still be the same, so don't worry about that one. It's still the one um, in Canada. So if you guys want to ever send anything, it should be in the description down below. Um, but, yeah, I want to have setups, maybe one setup that's not Funko in the background. Maybe we'll still have pops in it, but won't be completely pops like this like we'll make it nicer than just having a bunch of boxes behind me i want to do it with like floating shelves and have um an area with that one maybe we could put like my tiny ghosts in the background and have some wacky wobblers and some pez maybe like stuff like that maybe a vinyl or two um, even some pops out of box. I really can't do any out of box pops here because of how small the space is. Um, and with eight times the amount of space, it's going to be crazy. So I hope you guys are excited about this. Like I am, this is a really exciting thing for me. This is probably the biggest thing to happen to top pops. I don't know. Ever since, geez, I can't even imagine when there was something bigger for the channel. I'm looking around here guys, because you can't even see the cool stuff that's up top there, but that'll be what the other kind of setup is for. Like there's old wacky wobblers I've got up there, some out of box pops, some plush you guys have probably hardly ever seen. Um, and finally guys, you guys are gonna get excited about this. When we're finished and we do the uh, setup and we're done everything, we've brought all the pops over, we will be doing a full collection video. Now that one has been requested for Ever since I did the last one, to be honest, pr pretty much like that week after, people were like, I need another full collection video. And the last time we did it, I think we had about a thousand, maybe a thousand one hundred pops. Um, so it's gone down a bit because of Niagara Falls Comic Con. We did those mystery bags and everything to kind of, you know, get rid of some pops that I was excited about at the time. But now I want to move for new stuff and we will be doing another one. So that was, we, got, we went down to about 900, maybe, maybe t a thousand, around the thousand. Uh, but now we're back up to maybe like 1200. I think it's around 1300. I have to redo my Funko app as well because of that so maybe we can do a video on that when we go to the new place but guys this is really fun I'm super excited about it and I hope you guys are too I just want to come on here and talk to you guys about this because of how big this is I wanted to do like a kind of an update video um, so if you guys were wondering what the big surprise was that's it um, we're also gonna be doing like how to decorate your Funko how to do a Funko decoration for Halloween and stuff like that and that's because I'll have way more space I'll be way more uh, creative because I have more creative freedom because of how big the area is not I literally guys have to move my tripod to get to my bed if I want to go to sleep like it's no room at all I'm also excited to see how big this place is after it's all gone so we'll do like a before and after kind of thing as well I want to do it like we're on like uh I don't know, what's to put someone Property Brothers maybe where they show the before and the after like here's the transform transformation um but anyways guys 
I'm gonna end it there. Before we go though, guys, we did a little hunt over at Value Village, so why don't we go to earlier Tristan and he'll take you over there. Oh, hey guys, you stuck around to the end. Well, we're actually over at Value Village, so since you guys stuck around, let's go in and see if they have anything cool. Maybe some Funko Pops or Funko products, you never know. Well guys, we're over here in the back and this is usually our best bet for finding something is like in these kind of bags here. And what are these anyways? Are these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in, what the heck, that's weird. They're, I think it's a football player and a basketball player. That's so weird. Anyways, guys, I'm just looking around right now, seeing what they've got. Actually, a while ago, I donated something, so I thought I'd check to see if they had it here. Um, just for fun, it was the it was a Black Panther because I had like four of them. This one was out of box, so I thought if I could get it in here, see how much they'd price it at, just for fun. Um, but yeah, I don't see anything as of right now. Um, of course, there is more stuff, so I'm gonna keep digging around and see what else we can find. Um, but yeah, guys, for right now, it doesn't look too promising. But there still is the other toy section over there, like in box stuff. Um, but for right now, I'm kind of going through the bags and seeing if they have anything cool. All right, guys, so over in this other section, I'm not seeing much that's interesting. I don't know what this is, though. What the heck? It's like a Norm Nutman, the sports nut. So random. Anyways, guys, I don't Hey, 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 quiet. I don't see too much over here, guys, so I don't really know. Um, yeah, there's not much going on. I also thought I would check the plush because the plush might have something as well Whether it be Funko related or not, um, and I don't see anything there either I like to dig around through these if you guys see anything on camera um, That you think is Funko related. Let me know they did have some of these itty bitties. They only have one though in there It's kind of like thrown in with this stuff um, And yeah, they have some webkins I've noticed but yeah, not too much not too much going on here today So I think that's gonna be it for today guys. So anyways, uh, see you guys tomorrow